hello and welcome back to another edition of the Rock Goddess Reacts. I am your hostess with the mostest, the crazy rock goddess Dawn Dyer, here with you yet again, bringing you hopefully another amazing, amazing video. Hopefully, I, I'm guessing that it probably will be. So, before we get into all of that, like and subscribe below, please, and thank you. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps all these videos travel better. All of that fun, happy stuff. I have some new swag from a band called Fencers. Definitely go check them out. They are fabulous as well. You know me. I told you guys I'm going to be wearing different swag all the time. So, whenever I do these videos, it will be a new shirt. It will. Always, always good to help as much as I possibly can. But today, we're going to check out... Something from a band I do believe I have reacted to before. So, uh, Vampires Everywhere. Here's the explanation. Quickly, quickly. Vampires Everywhere was a band, and then it was not a band, and the singer, Michael, went to another band called Dead Girls Academy. He started another band called Dead Girls Academy, which is where I met Michael, was when he was in Dead Girls Academy. He is fabulous. His band so far has been fabulous. I have reacted to at least one of their songs. We're going to react right now to a song that everyone probably already knows. <laughs> like, it's a cover. And so uh, I can't say... I have not heard them do it, but I know the song. Like, if you've lit, not lived under a rock, you know this song. So, um, I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. But in the meantime, it is Vampires Everywhere. Uh, Michael is fabulous. and They are out touring definitely go check them out i will make sure to put all of the links for the original video all of their socials all of that stuff in the description box below so we're going to react to vampires everywhere uh cry little sister which is originally from the lost boys many many moons ago it was always a good song always has been a good song i'm excited to see what they are going to do with it so we're going to check it out together me you and everyone Without further ado. All right. Let us. All right, off we go. Go.
conversation's over. Time to join the club. All right, so, so, that, that was Vampires Everywhere, uh, and Cry Little Sister, they definitely put a different kind of spin on it, definitely a different spin than what any of us would have necessarily been expecting, probably. Um, I have heard a lot of covers of that song over the years, I have, and um, they're not always good covers, they're just not. Um, I do enjoy when a band puts a different spin on it, though. Um, I did expect a little more of the er uh, part, uh, more of that actually, because some of their other songs are very growly, vampires everywhere. So, um, I don't know. I expect a little more of that, but it's still a fabulous rendition, fabulous rendition. Uh, I just think that that song, there's no way you could screw it up. Not really. I mean, you'd have to like do some crazy shit to screw the song up because it's just a damn good song. Such a good song. Um, I enjoyed it. I love the guys from Vampire. I, I love them. Um, it's a, it's a good song. It's a good song and it's different than the original. So, um, a lot of times people do covers and it's basically the same except they're singing it, which there's a place for that also. Um, but, but I think it's interesting when somebody uh, mixes it up a little bit and changes it a little and, uh, they, they did a fabulous job with that. They did. So, many thumbs up from the Rock Goddesses for Vampires Everywhere. Great job, you guys. Great job. Good job. All right. All right. I'm going to get out of here. I am. I, I don't have much else to say. Like, what do you say about a song that's technically about 30 years old and everybody knows already? Like, I think they did a good job with their rendition of it for sure. Uh, they definitely deciphered themselves from anybody else who's done it. A lot of other people have done uh, a cover of that tune and it's just basically been the song, but them singing it. So this is definitely a different rendition of it and I greatly appreciate that. Still a great song, great song. Love those dudes. They're out on tour. Go see them if you possibly can. Go see them. Uh, I will link all of their um, socials and things in the description box below so that you can find them. And, um, yeah, go give them a like and a follow and, uh, yeah, go see a live show. All right. I'm going to get out of here. You can catch me weekdays, noon to three, rockrageradio.com. That is where I am. Noon to three Eastern time in the United States. If you live someplace else in the world, look it up, uh, in your, where, it, where you are in your world. <laughs> that wasn't even a sentence. Anyway, look it up, figure out what time it is where you are because we are worldwide. Uh, RockRageRadio.com is the simplest way, or you can go grab yourself into Rock Rage Radio app on the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. 
you can tune in via TuneIn, or you can yell at Alexa, tell her to turn on Rock Rage Radio, and that is how you will catch me. Uh, I am going to get out of here. I am. I, I don't have a lot to say about this song, mostly just because they did a really good job. They did a really good job. They definitely changed it up from other people. Go check them out. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. I have mad love for all of you. I want you guys to go out to the world. Go be good humans to other humans. And I will see you all the next time on The Rock Goddess Reacts.